everybody. It's me again with another episode of Jinju Kation Vlogs. Vlogs. So, as you can see, I'm still in my hotel room. I'm still in Tokyo. And it's, um, come check. As you can see, it's 10, 10.45 p.m. Just came back from a very lovely dinner. It was at the um, it was called the Nihonbashi Toyama 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 as Nihonbashi Nihonbashi Toyama Kan. It's actually a souvenir shop and a restaurant restaurant that's specializing in um, products or food, uh, cuisine from uh, Toyama Prefecture where. Uh, my colleague's family is from so we ate there it's easily one of the best meals of my entire life because so much fresh seafood beautiful um, plates yeah I know I fixate on the weirdest things I adored the different plates that the dishes were served on and I, like I admire the food I enjoy the food I also admire the cutlery the plates, the glass, the porcelain, and of course the conversation. It was super inspiring to hear um, how people are, you know, innovating in their workplace and how sometimes there are companies who are not out there just to make a quick buck, but who are out there with a sense of purpose uh, to change or improve uh, the lives of their clients or the people around them, which is what I. I do in my line of work as well but enough about work I was just I'm just gushing about how it was a great great dinner wonderful way to end the night um, I've decided to have um, I'm very random I just felt like I needed to do a vlog because I told myself I have to at least vlog seven videos even though on Facebook I already said that there were a few ideas coming from people um, let's see which one I'll do once I'm back in Singapore so I wanted to do a what's in my bag what's in my bag video because I liked to watch those when I'm on YouTube and I just want to you know want uh, see what people have inside their bags. I have this thing with wallets as well. If I see somebody's wallet on the table, I take them. No, I don't take them. I <laughs> ask if I can look at them and see what they have inside because uh, wallet is something that you have all the time and I'll just see what, and it's precious. And I kind of want to see what's precious to most people that they carry every day. So that being said, let's do a watch in my bag. First, let's talk about the bag as you can see it's a very huge bag it has three colors i bought this in hanoi when i was there in september um it was one of the shops i was one of my night uh, it, was, it was my last night in hanoi and i just uh, had um spent time with april who's my friend dear dear friend uh, we met uh, in church in the philippines and she's working in hanoi as a teacher and i was there for uh my client and uh, we met up and after one of those uh meetups that we had where we have uh, after dinner i think i was walking past this boutique and it was kind of like the merchandise on the window was totally my style um, my kind of um outfits like you know you have outfits that you or color schemes or patterns that you gravitate towards so i was attracted by the window dressing and so i went in intending to maybe get a dress but i ended up getting this bag which i think is very unique so it's sort of like a slouchy bag but it has like a very stable bottom so it can stand up it can stand up so i like that and has this detailing over here and also the straps looked sturdy to me so i bought this in vietnam um let's see what i have so we'll start with this 
pocket here at the back where usually I would put my transit card which is called EasyLink but now that I'm in Tokyo what we'll have is a pen because you always need it like in the airport you need to sign something you need to fill up something so I have a pen which is your fine tech pen now a tiny detail that i don't know if you've noticed but i'm making you notice right now is that it has like a purple washi tape on it so i mark my stuff with like washi tapes i have one in purple and then i have 300 three, oh my goodness 300 yen over here so that will have to go in my coin purse and so we've done that, the back pocket, now it's time to open the main pocket. I would love to like turn it upside down and just let it fall, but I might hurt myself. And I realized in the past few months that I prefer to have small bags which have everything, I mean, which um, have the things that I need grouped into one bag. And so let's start with the biggest. So whenever I travel, it's for business, which is what I'm doing in Tokyo right now. I always have to bring my laptop, my cables, my charging cables. Um, usually I would also bring an extension cord. And so I bring an extension cord everywhere when I travel because I don't want to um use up all my clients power outlets so if i have an extension cord with me um my colleague who is with me is able to charge her laptop i can charge my laptop i can even charge my phone if i wanted to and so it's super super convenient of course it's um it's another extra weight in my baggage but it helps a lot in making sure that i always have the battery on my uh, laptop or i always have juice on my phone so that if i need to use it for like searching for directions or calling people or sending emails i'm always ready so what i have here is my it's called my tech bag but it's actually a bag that i borrowed which i think now it's mine from my um roommate and so it's this bag as you can see well we'll take a look at what it has inside so usually i just carry my laptop uh on my arm and i have first uh the universal adapter so i'm using one of it now but this is the one that i bought at the airport i have two of these but i only bring one when i travel so everywhere i go i have a universal adapter and then of course i need my mouse for my laptop my laptop charger power cable i have oops so when we we're doing presentations um, you have to always be prepared. So I have two HDMI, uh, two, two micro USB adapters, and then I have, no, yeah, and then I have a VGA to an HDMI adapter. Now my laptop uses a micro USB. So what I do is that if, it, if the client is using VGA, I have this VGA converter. Or adapter I plug it in to my micro USB so it looks like this so I always have this on hand and as you can see I mark my stuff with either a green or a purple washi tape I have my USB-C cable I actually have two of them one of uh, I always have a spare and then I have my micro usb cable to charge our um, test devices and i also have a power bank which was a birthday present to me like a few years ago and i have business cards as well and in the event that um i don't know i still have a usb um oh my gosh i forgot what it's called like a thumb drive yeah a usb thumb drive that i got for oops i got for christmas 
and 2014. Christmas 2014. Yeah. Why do I remember it? Because it uh, was one of the last few years, I mean last few Christmases that I spent in my um, previous company. So I remember that as well because I remember that I needed, for some reason I needed a USB thumb drive. So this is my tech bag. So everything is in one place. Usually I can just put the pen in the pocket of the bag and it's set. That's my tech bag. The next thing I have, for, this is only because I'm in Tokyo, is remember the heat packs that I showed you on my first uh, vlog? I still have these. I have no idea if I'm still going to use it in Singapore. Okay. <laughs> I have uh, O'Keefe's Working Hands um, hand cream. So, it's basically... Just take it. So, I have super dry skin. And it's even more evident, especially in winter when things can get very, very dry. I hate the feeling that like sometimes it's so dry if I don't wear gloves or apply lotion regularly it hurts and it cracks so I heard that the um, O'Keefe's breaking hands is so good for extremely dry or cracked hands and it's not sticky like once you apply it and rub, um, make sure you rub it into your skin it feels clean it's not sticky or oily or uh, slick it dries down pretty quickly so I have that I have it in a big size as well. Um, so this hotel at the lobby, they provide uh, along the reception. They I mean, opposite the reception, they provide like teas and um, moisturizer, facial wash, and they also provide uh, body towels. So if I open this up, you can see that it's a body towel that you use when you're on in the bath, and you can scrub. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. So you can scrub, you, you can use it to scrub uh, your body. So you lather it up with like some body wash. And it's super soft. Exfoliation is key. What else do we have? Okay, I have my house keys over there. Oh. I have this bag. I don't know what's inside, but I put everything in a bag. Oh, okay, I know what I put in. I have the rest of my business cards over here. So in Japan, business cards are a huge deal. So I make sure that I have everything. I mean, I have extra business cards just in case. And I also have, because I talk a lot for my work, I bought Strepsil's Max at the airport, so it's triple action. Uh, it's for um, relieving pain for the sore throat, so it also fights in infection. I also have some single pieces of Ricola honey lemon, which is a bit too spicy for my taste. Um, but as you can see, like, okay, the Ricola, I bought it like a week ago. And there's still a lot left. Okay. Yes, there's still a lot left. I don't really like to eat sweets. What else do I have? Huh. I have my gloves. My winter gloves. It's from Uniqlo. And if you need to use... Uh, I think it's like biker gloves. Or I say it's like phone gloves. Because like they have this rubber thing. Where you can still probably use your phone but then I'm too cold to do anything but use my phone I also have a handkerchief which I don't know um, like I use it as a hand towel or to cover my mouth and this one I bought at a shop in Kyoto so I really like the print as you can see it's so pretty so I have a hanky and it's actually a bit huge have another body towel. I don't know why I have two. Um, I have my coin purse where the cat is. So this is a gift from Kathy and I put all my Japanese yen coins there. Why do I say Japanese? Yeah, Japanese yen coins. 
let me just put it back here so all my coins are here so when i travel i have i have a place to put my coins and since we're talking about money i have um my this is my wallet so i know that most women will have like um wallets that they carry around everywhere or like they um hold it they put it in their bag i really like to go hands-free as much as i can so i have this um it's a it obviously is a card holder but i use it as a wallet because i rarely have cash with me um so what do we have here i have my japanese suika card so it's like um it it's all around you can use it for buses for trains for buying stuff at the convenience store as long as you top it up with money i mean you top up the value i have folded in here somewhere <laughs> it's a, a thousand yen yeah i don't have cash with me so um i have again some of my business cards because you don't know who you're going to meet and i want it so be easily accessible and okay so when i travel i use uh this thing called utrip right utrip so basically i can use this overseas and to pay for stuff and the exchange rate is actually very very good it's like if you google like what's the exchange rate in japan and if it says in, on google is 79.31 it will be the same or 7.9 I okay wait so it will be the same as what google has so the rate is pretty good and if i have um credit loaded on it or money loaded on it then i can even uh, use it as an easy link or i can use this to pay for stuff in singapore so what's good about this is that it's actually it also has an app so on the app i just top up the value that i want so let's just say like a minimum of 20 dollars i top up 20 dollars it loads that credit onto this card that i just use this to pay in the event that um some i lose the card or leave it somewhere and don't have it back i just can deactivate or cancel um this card and my whatever money will be um locked in it won't be stolen or retrieved because the thing with um traveling or using your actual card overseas is that somebody might be able to use it to pay for their own purchases so i can avoid that from happening by having this card with me so i've used it in indonesia in the philippines in japan so i used this to pay for my hotel fees actually i use this in vietnam as long as they accept like um, debit cards credit card you can definitely use this and so this is my wallet it's like super lightweight super easy sometimes like with the extra compartments i can put in my hotel key card in here so i i just have this put it on my pocket or if i have a small bag just slide it in and it has everything that i need so sometimes i just go out with this and my phone and probably a, a bullet of lipstick a lipstick bullet a bullet of lip, a lipstick bullet i also have with me a notebook so if i have ideas or if i'm distracted by something and i don't want to think about it right now i put it on I, I find that writing it down is easier so this is my work notebook it has everything all the information about work i also slid in some receipts in there because i need to have my expenses reimbursed what else do i have uh, let's open up this compartment yeah i have another wallet so this is my travel wallet where it has um, my card and my transport card a little bit of cash i also have this which is another card holder oh by the way 
I bought this in Vietnam as well in Hanoi so these are actually in the same place so I bought this what one shop in Hanoi and a few meters away we went into one shop and I saw this so as you can see it's like it's embossed 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 flowers and the color is so vibrant and as you can tell I also like the color red and it is also a card holder which I use as my local wallet so it has my card my ID my company insurance um some cash so <laughs> I don't have a lot of cash I only have like 20 Singapore dollars um and I also have of course just in case some business cards yeah as you can tell like I have business cards everywhere and I still wonder why I sometimes forget them okay so I put back the cash so it's basically like this so this is where my um, local stuff is in when I travel so I have this usually I put this in the safety deposit box or I bring them together but I hide this in my bag and I, this I leave out so that's for my local expense uh, local stuff then I have my company ID my company ID I mean you can look at my face Ta -da! so this is my company ID which I have with me at all times is identification as well and lastly I have my um, makeup bag. I don't want to say it's a makeup bag, but it has things that go pretty fine. Um, <laughs> as soon as I sat there and opened it, I saw the very first thing. It's uh, I saw propel alcohol. So I bought this in the Philippines. So basically, it's five in one. It's an antibacterial hand spray, which we can use now. So this is the first thing that I have with me and I have tissue I have for some reason I have two eye drops because I wear contact lenses and sometimes they can be dry I have let's go to the sweet uh, this is this sugar free yeah it's a sugar free mint that I got as a gift from my colleague shout out to you babesh it's in strawberry flavor it's actually from cotton on so i think i guess you can say that most of my stuff i mean one third of my stuff are the gifts speaking of gifts i also have oh no okay i also have a nature republic um breath spray and the reason why it's so special because it's the EXO version. So if you guys don't know EXO, EXO is a Korean uh, boy group from a company called SM Entertainment. And it has the signature of my favorite member, like one of my favorite members. I'm not like a diehard fan, but I am a fan. So, I mean, very, very casual fan. So it has the signature of one of my favorite members there. And it's... I, not using this a lot because i want to keep it but i see that the signature is mm, getting scratched off so it hurts a little bit i have that and i have this like medicated oil so the brand already came off the labeling that i bought in bangkok so if i untwist the top part it's like an inhaler where I can smell the oil if I untwist the bottom part it has like the oil there and you can use it to like you know if you have a headache you just press it on your temples so this is good I have another medicated oil which is from the Philippines it's the, the brand called Efficacent and it's a relaxing oil so I found this or I didn't discover this I saw it in one of my colleagues uh, tables and asked her where she got it from and now we go to the four items of makeup or cosmetics that are in this bag so 
I usually do not touch up like my face makeup or my base makeup or my foundation or my powder but what I do is that I touch up on what I call sign of life which is my lips because I find that if I don't wear lipstick I look like half dead so I have two MAC lipsticks the first one that I'm going to show you is newer one it's like a red lipstick you can see here oh let me try something let's do a swatch see here this is um russian red right which is your matte red lipstick and the one that i'm wearing today which is a well-loved lipstick is one of my favorites is the ruby woo which is retro matte which is the formula is super super dry so it's this one so it's a bit the same but Russian red I think has a more blue tinge to it and since I'm already here why not freshen up I find that putting on lipstick really brightens my complexion and it just overall makes me feel happy like if I had to put one um, item of makeup or I had to bring one item of makeup on an island which I have done before when I went to Bali it will be lipstick because I can use it on my lips I can use it as a blush and like just look alive whenever I'm out now when I use Ruby Woo it's drying so I prep it with the MAC prep and prime with the lips so actually I'm about to finish this so it's just a lip balm and it prepares your lips for the matte formula and then I have my Innisfree brow um, eyebrow pencil yeah eyebrow pencil because sometimes what happens especially in Singapore where the weather is humid so I have it drawn out right now and it's almost 11 p.m. so I drew this out at like 7 or 8 a.m. and usually by by half or like at, in the evening the eyebrow would only be up to here it will get cut off so I look weird so I would extend it out and draw it again and so I always bring the eyebrow pencil make sure my brows are even visible and there's a tail there's an eyebrow tail so this is my makeup pouch and what else well that is all for what's in my bag thank you so much for watching it's a and for listening to me r ramble if you guys have any suggestions on things that i can vlog slide into my dms people <laughs> and let me know uh, so i have a few stuff coming mostly me rambling and sharing my life experiences and well what else that is all thank you for watching and i hope to see you guys very very soon